What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host Warren and yesterday at CinemaCon, Marvel Studios showed the first footage for Captain America Brave New World. And there's great news for the people who are worried about Captain America 4. I might have been included in that myself. It sounds like we really don't have anything to worry about because apparently all of the people who saw the footage said that it looked absolutely fantastic. Plus, when Kevin Feige was on stage talking about it, he compared it to The Winter Soldier, Captain America the Winter Soldier, which is really a critically acclaimed Marvel movie, plus a fan acclaimed Marvel movie. It's really regarded as one of the best movies ever from Marvel Studios. So right off the bat, that is amazing news altogether. Now we're going to break down the footage that they showed, plus Entertainment Weekly gave us our very first look at Captain America Brave New World. Actual shots from the scenes of the film, not behind the scenes shots, but real stills from the movie. And Anthony Mackie has a very funny message for Tom Holland, our Spider-Man. We'll start with that, but if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU news. So Entertainment Weekly interviewed Anthony Mackie at CinemaCon, and they say that he's got a friendly bone to pick with Tom Holland. They say in a viral moment captured at a fan convention in 2021, the Spider-Man actor joked that his fellow MCU star doesn't have his own Falcon movie. And Anthony Mackie has a revenge plan. He states, no, he did that on a very public stage. So I'm going to hold that till the premiere. I'm going to make sure that Marvel makes him come to the premiere and then I'm going to sit him next to me and I'm going to watch him watch the movie. This is really the only way to describe this is epic. I really hope he does that. I hope Tom Holland goes to the premiere. I hope Anthony Mackie makes sure he goes to the premiere and he actually does this, sits him right next to him. That moment was really funny when Tom Holland said that. The two of them love to jokingly take jabs at each other, so this is hilarious. But let's dive into the footage that they showed. We have two really great accounts, really great descriptions telling us exactly what was showed. One coming from Entertainment Weekly, the other from Discussing Film, and we'll start with Entertainment Weekly. Weekly. They state, Ross is the newly elected president of the United States, though he's not butting heads so much with the new cap. President Ross invites and welcomes Sam to the White House, thanking him for his past heroic actions. Now, we've heard that there is a scene that does address the fact that, sadly, William Hurt is no longer with us. He has passed away and he's no longer obviously playing the role of Thunderbolt Ross. That role is now being played by Harrison Ford and apparently they do kind of address this. At one point in time, Sam is speaking to President Ross and he says, I have to admit, I'm still not used to the new look. And President Ross states, me either. They said, lose the mustache or lose the election. So this isn't obviously directly coming out and stating, hey, you're a different person, but it is indirectly stating that. William Hurt, Thaddeus Ross typically had a mustache. Harrison Ford will not. And that's kind of their canon excuse of saying why he looks different. But continuing with the footage, Ross invites Sam Wilson to the White House, thanking him for his past heroic actions. Though he admits he isn't too fond of superheroes, he says even he can recognize Sam's goodwill and task the military veteran with reforming Earth's mightiest heroes, the Avengers. But as they soon realize, there's a leak in Ross's inner circle. A strange sound, an old timey song, interrupts Ross's presentation at a White House event. According to Discussing Film, this presentation is about bringing the Avengers team back. He's presenting this plan to a crowd in which Sam Wilson is a part of. So an old timey song starts playing over the speakers, interrupting the presentation and triggering sleeper super soldiers in the room to attack the president, including Carl Lumbly's Isaiah Bradley, who we met in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And Discussing Film says that this also controls the minds of some secret service agents, and they attack Sam, and he struggles to pin them down in a fight. They say full chaos ensues, which leads us to a montage of the different action set pieces of the film. We see Sam getting attacked at the White House, using his shield to block himself from multiple Secret Service agents trying to tase him. We see shots of Sam Wilson and Joaquin Torres in action together, and Joaquin Torres will be the new Falcon in this film. Everything builds up to a tense confrontation between Sam and Thunderbolt Ross inside the Oval Office, wherein Ross tells him, You're not Steve Rogers. And after a long pause, Sam says, You're right. 
I'm not. Finally, we see Sam suit up in the new Captain America suit, which is more silver and blue than blue and white. Now that's it for the footage, but like I mentioned, EW did give us a first look. We have a picture of Thunderbolt Ross as the president of the United States and Sam Wilson meeting in the White House. Also, Anthony Mackie has said some very important things to ensure people that this is not going to be the Falcon and the Winter Soldier part two. In fact, they specifically set out to not make it part two. We'll dive into this in just a bit. But first, big thank you to G2A for sponsoring this video. Gate to Adventure offers digital entertainment at discount prices, including video games and gift cards for Amazon, Netflix, and more. And they have the hottest games like Helldivers 2, Madden, NFL 24, Warhammer 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, Minecraft, and many other awesome titles. They even have some Avengers games, and these games are delivered instantly when you buy. And right now, they're having a big spring sale from now until April 14th, offering huge discounts for games and other great offers, including limited daily deals. Use discount code G2A spring to get 10% off when you spend up to 25 euros, 15% off when you spend over 25 euros and 20% off when you spend over 50 euros. Just use discount code G2A spring. You can head over to them by clicking the link in the description down below. They're standing face to face and it does look like there is some tension. Now, Captain America, Sam Wilson, he is in his Captain America suit with the shield on his back. So this might be that moment at the very end that was mentioned where Thunderbolt Ross says, you're not Captain America. And Sam says, you're right, I'm not. Because they don't mention that when Sam first gets to the White House that he's in his Captain America suit. But they do mention he has his shield, so who knows. But in this scene, it does look like there's some tension. So I want to say it's at the end where he's telling him that he's not Steve Rogers. Either way, this is our first look at the two of them together. And we have a first look at just simply Anthony Mackie as Sam Sam Wilson with the Captain America shield. Now, for those who might still be worried, but are kind of excited that it's going to be like the Winter Soldier, this is what Anthony Mackie had to say. It made more sense for it to be more of a grounded espionage action movie as opposed to aliens and airplanes coming through portals and sh S word. Even though I've been in so many of them and have seen it all now, the opportunity for Sam to really establish himself as a true action star and Avenger comes with this movie. He says Brave New World feels 10 times bigger than the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And he said one of the biggest conversations we had from the beginning was for this not to be Falcon and the Winter Soldier Part 2. For this to be its own movie, with its own story, with its own characters. So for those who didn't like Falcon and the Winter Soldier and are worried that this is kind of going to be like that and it's going to be part two, it sounds like Marvel Studios did a lot to make sure that it's not part two. Seems like they realize a lot of people didn't like it and they kind of need to give a feel of the old Captain America movies because a lot of people really love them, especially Winter Soldier. Now the footage that was shown pretty much tells us what we've been expecting and what we've heard through various rumors and reports. Sam Wilson, Captain America, is indeed going to start a new Avengers team. However, most of us know that Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, the president of the United States, is going to be Red Hulk, and he is indeed going to be the main villain of this movie. So I'm pretty sure he has an ulterior motive here. He most likely wants an Avengers team that he can control, and he knew that he couldn't control Steve Rogers or Tony Stark, and thinks maybe he can control Sam Wilson, and basically use the Avengers to do his own bidding, to do what he wants them to do. And I have a feeling that's where the conflict really starts to come. In. That and, you know, the super soldiers out there. Clearly, it seems like Thunderbolt Ross is still experimenting with the super soldier serum, creating super soldiers and hulks since he's going to be Red Hulk. But overall, this sounds like it is indeed going to be a pretty great action movie, a grounded action movie, which is really what the Winter Soldier was. So it sounds like they are super focused on some really great things with Captain America Brave New World. In fact, they even redid a lot of the movie because they thought that it wasn't that good and they could do it even better, which you have to appreciate. Marvel Studios lost a lot of money doing that. They spent a lot more, which means the budget shot up and they delayed the movie over a year, but they didn't care because they want the movie to be good, which I definitely appreciate. And from what everybody is saying about how impressed they were with the footage that was shown at CinemaCon, I'm really excited for this movie now and I can't wait to see Sam Wilson's Captain America go up against Red Hulk. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you excited for this movie or are you still worried? Let us know. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU news. If you subscribe and leave a comment, you're entered in our giveaway for a chance to win a PS5 or an Xbox Series X. The winner picks one item and we pick one winner at the end of each month. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.